Yes, now we'll discuss about the arterial supply of the stomach. The stomach develops from the embryonic foregut. And artery of the embryonic foregut is celiac trunk. Here is position of the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk gives three branches. One branch is left gastric artery. This is left gastric artery. And there is the splenic artery. Here is position of the spleen. This is splenic artery. Its course is tortuous. So this is splenic artery. And another artery is common hepatic. This is common hepatic. This common hepatic gives gastroduodenal. This is gastroduodenal. And this gastroduodenal gives right gastroepiploic artery. This is right gastroepiploic artery. And this splenic artery gives left gastroepiploic artery. This is gastroepiploic artery. And also numerous 7 or 8 short gastric artery. This is a short gastric artery. And also here, this, this is proper hepatic artery. This is common hepatic. Here it becomes proper hepatic. It gives right gastric artery. This is right gastric artery. So, stomach is supplied by left gastric artery, right gastric artery. Here is gastroduodenal. It gives us right pancreatic duodenal. Here is, sorry, uh, right uh, gastroepiploid, left gastroepiploid. This is right gastroepiploid. This is left gastro and these are short gastric artery. So these are numerous arteries which give supply to the stomach. Thank you.